Shah of Rampur, and the stroke of his paw has changed the destiny of Robert Grant, a young American. To save the Rajah's kingdom from a pretender, Grant assumed the dying ruler's identity and was accused of having murdered the Rajah. Proof of Grant's innocence exists in the form of a letter written by the Rajah before his death. A hunter named Harris has the letter in his possession. Grant has escaped from prison and is trailing Harris was disguised as an Arab. His real identity is known only to Muriel Armitage, a girl who has befriended him. Muriel's brother Tom has been accidentally wounded by a woman known as Mrs. LaSalle, who had plotted with Harris and an Arab named Mustafa to make Tom reveal the location of a rich diamond deposit. Suddenly, Harris's ferocious ape man, Beaming, seizes Tom in his terrible clutch. What's the news? You were right about women selling you out. What do you mean? Mrs. LaSalle is on the boat now, running away with the boy. What? You let her double cross us like that? You fool. You bungled everything. From now on, I'll look after it myself. Yes, I'll have to buy tickets. That's all right, sir. I give you 93 in the after cabin. I'll follow along short if you think. Very well. 93. I am servant to Mr. Harris. All right, go ahead. Who's there? Ooh, isn't this 
delightful. I didn't know you were sailing. You know what I'm here for? Where's my brother? I told you I don't know anything about him. What about this? The writing. We found me after all these years. Who's writing? What do you mean? You're not going to put me off again. Don't stop me. This is a matter of life and death. It will be a matter of life and death if you don't tell me where my brother is. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I hope I haven't hurt you. My goodness, what is the world coming to? Young girls rushing around like mad bulls. Oh, I do hope you'll forgive me. Well, don't stand there yapping like a parrot. Help me to my station. Oh, I don't... Tickets, please, ladies. Oh, I'm not a passenger. I'm going ashore. Sure, but we're way at sea. At sea? Oh. You can't go ashore now, miss. But I, ha I haven't any money for my passage. Well, how about the friends you came aboard to see? Can't they pay your passage? I haven't any friends on board. What makes you think you have no friends on board? The idea of you pestering a poor innocent girl like this. Make out a ticket for her as my companion. But no, 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 not a word, my dear. It's all settled. You read to me every morning for two hours and wake me every morning at nine o'clock. Oh, thank you. Well, number 84 is vacant next door, miss. Seems like it's just made to your order. Oh, sorry. Captain is giving a party for the passengers down in the saloon, miss. If you care to come down. Oh, thank you. How old was this man on guard? Thank you. Mrs. Anthony, that's Ben Olaf Peterson. And we're going to have a showdown right now. I beg pardon, sir, but that lady is not Mrs. Anthony. She ain't, huh? Well, I know better. Just a minute. You can't go in there. Captain's orders. Never mind. She can't get off that boat. They'll see her. be expecting me. Well, where's the boy? I don't know. I swear I don't. There's no use lying. The stuff will put me wise. True. I didn't bring that boy on board. Then why did you sail? Because I'm in terror of my life. You saw that guard outside? If you don't produce the boy, that guard won't save you. The man at that porthole. Do you see an Arab running this way? No. It was you. Why, you don't think I shot her, do you? Then why were you running down the passageway as I came around the corner? You didn't come around the corner, Harris. They saw you running down the passageway yourself. Oh, yeah? Where were you to see so much? What's the matter here? Hi, Gary! Don't 
are you doing in this room? What do you suppose I'm doing? Covering the evidence of the crime? Madam, you must realize we have found you engaged in a highly suspicious action. I hope you can explain your presence here. And, uh, what if I can't explain? I will have no alternative but to put you under arrest for the murder of Mrs. LaSalle. Oh. Send him out and I'll talk to you. Then I'll go. Secret Service agent, eh? Well, you need to shout it loud enough for the whole ship to hear. This is indeed a surprise, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Moore. Uh, Mrs. Colby is the name on the ship's register, if you please. You must understand, officer, that we agents must hide our real identity. This is no ordinary murder, but one directly connected with the case I am working on. A case of such importance but I must ask you to keep it as quiet as possible. By all means, Mrs. Colby. know something about you, I would raise an alarm. That would be fatal to you. Fatal to me? Yes, to you. What do you mean? I might be forced to explain how I came into possession of this. My revolver? 
Where did you get it? On the deck outside the window where you threw it after you shot Mrs. LaSalle. Why should I shoot Mrs. LaSalle? Because you knew she shot your brother. My brother shot? When? Where? Tonight in Harris's room at the hotel. Are you sure? I was there when it happened. Where are you going? To the captain to have him question Mr. Harris. That wouldn't get you anything. Harris is crafty. I know him. He'll stop at nothing and always has a perfect alibi. Well, that's all the more reason why you should go with me and prove what you say. Proof? That's why I was in his room at the hotel. That's why I'm here, searching for proof. I understand now why you warned me about Mr. Harris. If my brother has made an enemy of such a man... Don't worry. Together we'll find a way to run him to earth. Get ahead. Hard over. <laughs> 